How did you think the team came out and played? Uh, really hard. That's what we wanted to do. We want to come out and set the tone on defense, um, play as hard as we can for as long as we can. And, uh, you know, we want to have fun doing that. And we're starting to fall in love with that a little bit. Um, anybody that steps on the floor is going to play extremely hard. And uh, you find out who put, whoever plays as hard as you can, as long as you can, it's going gonna, it's gonna to find more minutes. And so we have a lot of guys that are really hungry to play, which is good. A lot of times at the end of the season, you got kind of your set rotation and um, I talked earlier about how sometimes our rotations can get a little crazy and mixed up, but also that makes us a little dangerous at times too. And so um, we're, we're continuing to progress. We're going in the right direction. And our guys, and as long as we keep playing hard, we're going to be fine. 8-0 start. You only gave up two field goals the first quarter. Got up 27-7 to early second quarter. How important was that to get in front early? Huge. You know, we wanted to, again, set the tone on defense, but then let that stuff transition into offense and easy buckets. Um, I thought we shot the ball fairly efficient. You know, if RJ's only getting two threes, it shoots 25%, but we're still scoring from the outside and then yet respecting us inside. Um, that means we're doing the right things. We're making the right passes, right cuts. We're playing good basketball. And so the purpose is there. We just got to continue to be more consistent and more efficient. All 13 guys scored. That's got to be a good feeling. And you knocked down a lot from the outside. Yeah, not too often you have 13 guys score, you know, or 13 guys play. And the fact that they came in, again, it goes back to their effort. Uh, they, every single guy that came in wanted to play as hard as they can and do something for the team. We talked about honoring um, the seniors in our court, home court, kind of finishing the season with our effort. And I thought every single kid did that tonight. Right around the time you entered Akers and Osborne into the starting lineup, it was when this win streak took off. Talk about that decision. Um, kind of going along with consistency and efficiency a little bit. Um, they did a little bit more for us on the offensive end than what we had previously. Um, and it didn't even have to be them scoring the ball. It just maybe had to be their pass to the next pass to be able to get to the guy that was scoring. And so they were doing a lot of right plays. Um, and then the more reps they got, the better they got. And um, they're young. I mean, Blake Osbar is a junior, but he, you know, this is his first time being on varsity. So they're young as far as reps goes. And you can tell, obviously, the more reps they get, the more better they're going to be. And so um, that's been us. Plus, it's also created a ton of competitiveness in, in practice, which you don't always see, which has been huge for us down this stretch. You beat a team tonight that has beat Underwood this season. You've beat Underwood this season. Does that make things uh, feel a lot better for you going into that one? Absolutely not, no. Uh, well, we're ready to grind, man. We're ready to get to work. Um, we know that there's certain things that we got to do a lot better than the last time we played them. But we also know that they're going to have adjustments and they're going to play us tough too. They're well coached. They all can shoot from the outside. They play really hard. Um, so we're looking for a really good matchup and a really good game. And we're just going to play really hard and do what we do. This one's a little bit off topic, but when I talked to RJ after he committed to Briar Cliff, Kind of talked a little bit about some one-on-one -on -one battles with you, and he's pretty confident he'd have the upper hand. Do you have a response to that? I'm pretty sure the last time I played, I, I uh, left his jock or maybe his ankle on the floor. So we'll put that one on record. All right. Thanks, Coach.